Luke 19. And Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. And behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, who was the chief among the publicans, and he was rich. And he sought to see Jesus, who he was, and could not for the press, because he was little in stature. And he ran before and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said to him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I must abide in thy house. And he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. And when they saw it, they were all murmuring and saying that he was gone to be a guest with a man that is a sinner. And Zacchaeus stood and said unto the Lord, Behold, Lord, of half my goods I give the poor, and I have taken anything that any man by false accusation I restore him fourfold. And Jesus said to him, This day salvation come to this house, for so much as he also is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man is come to seek and save that which was lost. And they heard these things. He added and spake a parable, because he was nigh to Jerusalem, and because they thought that the kingdom of God should immediately appear. And he said, Therefore, a certain nobleman went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom and return. And he called his ten servants, and delivered them ten pounds, and said unto them, Occupy till I come. But his citizens hated him, and sent a message after him, saying, We will not have this man reign over us. And it came to pass that when he returned, having received the kingdom, then he commanded these servants to be called unto him, to whom he had given the money, that he might know how much every man had gained by trading. Then came the first, saying, Lord, thy pound hath gained ten pounds. And he said unto him, Well, thou good servant, because thou hast been faithful in a very little, have thou authority over ten cities. And the second came, saying, Lord, thy pound hath gained five pounds. And he said likewise to him, Be thou also over five cities. And another came, saying, Lord, behold, here is thy pound which I have kept laid up in a napkin. For I feared thee, because thou art an austere man. Thou takest up uh, that thou layest not down, and reapest that thou didst not sow. And he said unto him, Out of thy own mouth will I judge thee, thou wicked servant. Thou knewest that I was an austere man, taking up that I laid not down, and reaping that I did not sow. Wherefore then gavest thou my money into the bank, and at my coming I might have required my own with usury? And he said unto them that stood by, Take from him that have the pound, and give it to him that have ten pounds. And they say unto him, Lord, he hath ten pounds. For I say unto you, that unto every one which have, uh, shall be given, and from him that hath not, even that he has, shall be taken away from him. <clears throat> but those mine enemies which would not, that I should reign over them, bring them hither, and slay them before me. And when he had spoken thus, he went before, ascending up to Jerusalem. And it came to pass, when he was come nigh to Bethpage and Bethany at the mount called the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples, saying, Go ye into the village over against you, in which at your entering ye shall find a colt tied, where there yet uh, never man sat. Loose him, and bring him hither. And if any man ask you, Why do you loose him? Thus shall ye say unto him, Because the Lord hath need of him. And when they that were sent their way, and found even as he said unto them, and as he said, and as they were loosing the colt, the owner therefore said unto them, Why loose ye the colt? And they said, The Lord hath need of him. And they brought him to Jesus, and they cast their garments upon the colt, and they set Jesus thereon. As he went, they spread their clothes in the way, and when he had come nigh, even now at the descent of the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of the disciples began to rejoice and praise God with a loud voice for all the mighty works 
that they had seen, saying, Blessed be the king that cometh in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. And some of the Pharisees from among the multitude said unto him, Master, rebuke thy disciples. And he said unto them, I tell you that if these should hold their peace, the stones would immediately cry out. And when they came near, he beheld the city and wept over it, saying, If thou hast known, even thou, at least in this thy day, the things which belong unto thy peace, but now they are hid from thine eyes, for the days shall come upon thee, that thy enemies shall cast a trench about thee, and compass around, and keep thee in every side, and shall lay thee even with the ground, and thy children within thee, and they shall not leave in thee one stone upon another, because thou knowest not the time of thy visitation. And he went up to the temple, and began to cast them out that sold therein, and them that bought, saying unto them, It is written, My house is a house of prayer, but ye have made it a den of thieves. And he taught daily in the temple. But the chief priests and the scribes and the chief of the people sought to destroy him, and could not find what they might do, for all the people were very attentive to hear him. 1 Thessalonians 5 But of the times and seasons, brother, ye have no need that I write unto you. For you yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction come upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that the day should overtake you as a thief. You are all the children of light, and the children of the day. We are not of the night, nor of darkness. Therefore let us not sleep as others do, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us, who are of the day, be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for a helmet the hope of salvation. For God hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that whether we wake or we sleep, we should live together with him. Wherefore comfort yourselves together, and edify one another, even as also ye do. And we beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor among you, and are over you in the Lord, and admonish you, and to esteem them very highly in love, for their work's sake, at be at peace among yourselves. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, be patient toward all men. See that none of none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and all to all men. <clears throat> Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Jesus Christ concerning you. Quench not the spirit, despise not prophesying, prove all things, hold fast that which is good, abstain from all appearance of evil, and the very God of peace sanctify you wholly, and I pray God your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless under the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Faithful is he that calleth you, and also will do it. Brethren, pray for us. Greet all the brethren with a holy kiss. I charge you by the Lord that this epistle be read unto all holy brethren. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen.